hello everyone and welcome uh, to another video uh, this video i will be talking about some specific matchup tips that might be able to help you online uh, this is some tips that will apply to a lot of the intermediate and even some of the lower higher level player like diamonds and stuff like that uh, and i wanted to start with everyone's favorite uh, m bison so I've made an entire video before on M. Bison and how to deal with his specific stuff like Devil Reverse, V Trigger, all of that stuff. But today I wanted to talk about the new Season 5 stuff. Uh, for starters we will talk about his, uh, his teleport, right? So this is something that is new to this season. You will see a lot of Bison players using this. And, you know, over time I feel like people got better with punch hit. You can just hit him out of it. Like, as soon as you see him disappear, you can just hit him, right? This is all simple, but usually nowadays they take it a layer above that. So, what a lot of Bison players will do nowadays is they will use an EX Blast as a shield for that. So, they will do something like this, right? They will do this and then do this. And... With that sequence, the issue is you can't really interrupt him, right? Okay, that will happen. So how do we deal with this blast and teleport combo? Well, I'm going to show you an answer that is going to work for every single character in this game. Uh, all you have to do is, as soon as you see him teleport, you throw him out of it. So you do something like this. And that just nullifies the entire sequence, right? Every single character in the game can do this. Of course, like someone like Kami can do something like this, but I wanted to show you an answer that works for everyone. So, sticking with the Shadow theme, now we are going to talk about Ed. Now, Ed is one of the most, probably one of the most buffed characters in Season 5. He's certainly, a, I would say, I, I think I can, it's safe to say he's a common online character at this point. Especially if you play around the diamond area, you will see a ton of Ed players, right? And one of the reasons for that is because of his new flicker uh, to V-Trigger and because of his V-Trigger 2 in general. It allows him to bully his way through for plus frames, right? So I wanted to show you something that is very, very important to know and it is this particular sequence. See, this is something that you will see a lot of Ed players doing. They will do something into Fireball, into uh, the V-Trigger Snatcher. And why Why is this good? Because, well, he's plus 3 in your face, point blank. And usually you're forced to V-Reversal that. So if you V-Reversal that, you are losing uh, a lot of your V-Gage bar and most likely your comeback mechanic, right? So now I'm going to show you a way to deal with this. It's a sequence that I found to be pretty reliable. It can be tricky to do, but with some practice, I feel like you can land it easily. And it goes something like this. You want to backdash between the fireball and the snatcher. If you do this right, you will be able to punish him every single time. Now I will show you a bigger sequence and show you how it's done. So now I will show you a larger sequence, uh, including the same tech, uh, it's something that you will see a lot of it players doing and how to avoid it, right? Same way. From my experience, this is a common sequence, uh, a lot of it players, they may do crouching jab to the fireball, but the idea is you can always back dash here and create an opening for yourself. Of course, your punish would vary depending on the character, but the general idea remains that you can do this. So Fang is another character that is not very common online, this one is not that common, but he, uh, you, you most likely have no idea what he's actually doing in the matchup, right? You will get hit by some stuff and not really know how to deal with it, and I wanted to show you a couple of sequences that I'm sure you have seen before, maybe haven't figured out an answer for, but I, like, I want to help you with that. 
So the very first sequence, that's something that I'm sure we all seen before, is something like this, right? The Fang will do a block string to the light up bow. And the idea here is, if you try to, like, if you try to knock him down like that, if you try to trade, and he can he quick get up, he will hit you. So they want to go for that trade. Uh, and of, of course of the sweep he can like V trigger cancel he can he might be able to get a combo off of you and just looking at the life bars uh, you can see that it's, it's definitely advantageous to Feng like this is a trade that he wins so now I'll show you what happens if you try to stand block it right if you try to stand block this sequence what will happen is the fireballs will hit you early and they will dissipate and you'll be able to get a full combo punishment so as you see we were plus 11 there so let's try this again and then you can get something like this i believe almost everyone in the cast can do this personally i found stan blocking his up balls to be the best answer to most of what he's doing right regardless of what you're doing you're getting a much better punish Another thing a lot of Fang players will do is something to his uh, coward stance, like this, uh, or crouching stance. So, the issue with this is this low profiles a lot of the moves, and the best way to deal with it is to just check it low, right? Maybe do something like this, crouching light kick or crouching medium kick. You can crouch counter sweep him, but, you know, this might require you to be really sharp on the reaction. This is more of an... I would say this more of a read than a guess, but you can always, almost, at least crouching light kick him, right? Like, you can almost always see him do this and does do this and you'll be able to stall him, right? If you ever see him doing that crouching stance, you can just crouching light kick and you'll hit him out of it every single time. It's not optimal, but it is the most reliable. Now we're gonna talk about Nash. Uh, well, Nash was a character that was quite popular early on in the game's uh, life cycle and uh, we don't see that much anymore, but there are still some Nash loyalists here and there, and I just wanted to show you something uh, that might help you a lot. This will particularly be targeted towards character with some specific style of move. Uh, first of all, I will show you what this, what we are talking about here, and it is his, uh, it is his EX Moonsault. Now. When you block an EX Moonsault, generally, uh, he is plus on block, right? So, what most likely will happen is you will try to be reversal it, okay? Or you will hold the plus frames or whatever, right? Now, you can anti-air this, a lot of characters can anti-air this, almost everyone can anti-air this. You can do something like crouching light kick, you can do something like this, crouching heavy. If you're sharp, maybe you can do EDB. I have a lot of startup. But I wanted to show you something that I thought was kind of cool. I discovered this by accident, but I believe it, uh, it's going to be very helpful. So what I'm talking about is uh, you can actually low profile this and full combo punish him. Now let me show you. As we just saw, we saw Lucia sliding under Nash and getting a full combo instead of just getting like a small anti-air or just seeing a V reversal. And you will be surprised how reliable this is. Uh, I will just show you something him doing it in a block string and you will see that I'm still able to do that. Uh, right here, let's do this. Let's see. see how late I'm doing it and I still can get a punish on him. Now this is specific to characters with slight style moves, so if you have something that low profiles, something that can go under and move you forward, you will most likely be able to do this. Uh, for sure I know Lucia can do it, I know Chun-Li can do it, Vega, and I'll just show you some examples now. Now, lastly, I wanted to talk about Blanca, and specifically his V-Trigger 2. Uh, Blanca's V-Trigger 2, I feel, is one of the strongest V-Triggers in the game. It's certainly one of the harder V-Trigger to understand, and to know what's actually going on. Uh, specifically, I feel like most people don't know when he's plus, or when he's minus, what is the rules, 
when it's cross up when it's not like there is a lot of variables to it and i wanted to just clear up some of that so you can at least easily assess the situation better right now first we're gonna start with his light bulbs now the thing you need to know is blanca is only plus on block if he is cancelling into v from a light bulb as you see now he's plus two right now you can't press the button at all, he is plus, he will do whatever he wants at that point. Uh, you have to look at the speed of his Blanca Ball to just be able to eyeball this, right? With practice you can do this, with some matchup experience you will know which version he's using. Sadly they all have the same voice uh, line, so you can't differentiate them by the voice. But I think the speed is noticeable enough. Like. Like if you look at this, this is very obviously the light, right? Even even if even if he's a little bit closer, you'll see that, and yeah, that's the light, and he's plus from that. Right? What he, what isn't plus though is his heavy or even medium. Medium is plus one, so it is kind of even. But his heavy uh, his heavy blankable, he will be minus two in your face, right? So, and I feel like this is the mistake that a lot of people will do, like they will stand next to Blanca here and then he will try to jump away or something to escape his V-Trigger and then they will get clipped. Like you may try to do something like that or you know, may try to jump, get hit and you know, lose a lot of life for a stupid mistake. But what you have to know is if he ever does the heavy ball and you can tell it by its speed, and this is also applies for the EX, he is minus 2. Like if he ever does a heavy, he's minus two. Only the light is plus. Only the light is plus, right? Now, Blanca had a DB, right? So now, if he is in that situation, he might be. He might do, you know, in the three five or five, he might do the minus two and do his DB thing. So now we'll have you. We'll show you that and. As you can see, he can cancel from this, but make no mistake, this is you can still punish this. You will not get a grounded punish, and if you wait too long, you'll be you'll get hit like here. Okay, I actually did it early, but like if I waited long enough, actually, you see, it it, it is kind of easy to hit actually. So you just do your crutch counter punish. You have to do something with her with a little bit of a higher hitbox, but as you can see, you can still crush counter this. It is it is not an issue. So if Blanca does his heavy fire, his heavy ball, there is a good chance that this is the incoming mix-up, right? Uh, his incoming mix-up will be whatever to do the EX up ball or not. So you don't need to worry about his, uh, you don't need to worry about his plus frames if he's doing it from far. If you ever see him doing a full screen Blanca ball while in V trigger, I will say it is better to challenge or look at how much life he has and you have to kind of read the situation here. Because it is a bit of a 50-50, he will get a decent amount of damage if he actually hits you with that EX up ball, the DB, but you can also bait it and punish him. One good thing that you can always do is walk back a little bit and if he does it, you know, you can always get the counter, counter punch. And with this, our videos comes to an end. Uh, I'll probably be doing these uh, like matchup tips videos in patches of five. Like maybe each video will have five different characters. And if you want to see more of that stuff, please let me know. Uh, leave feedback on which character you would like to see next, or maybe uh, which gimmick that you that might give you trouble. And yeah, please share and subscribe and comment. And thanks for watching and stay safe.